writing the script as of right now. Um, I already had the idea before, so this is really just more or less changing the script to the location that we have. Um, so yeah, I got some music on and I'm getting to it. All right, so it is 10.30 and I just finished the first draft of the script and I think it's pretty good. I think it needs a little bit of polishing, um, especially towards the end of it. Um, so I'm gonna, Zach's gonna be here soon and we're gonna kind of brainstorm and go over how we wanna do this and what we wanna change up and sort of figure out. So we'll see what happens. So Zach turns back to the line, nothing is moved, silence. He turns back, opening the door, squeak, and squeak again, so it's like back to back. A horrible sound comes from the woods. I thought we could have like a really fucking creepy sound come from the woods. Um, you, I was thinking like maybe we could have like a toolbox or something like next to you like outside. You grab a flashlight, you flash into the woods. Uh, he flicks it on looking into the woods. The flashlight lights up a small circle of dark and darkness around. The horrible sound seems to echo through the woods as you're kind of putting it back and forth. Zach's hands tremble as he holds the light out into the woods. His breathing is heavy. Flick. The flashlight suddenly dies. So you're like, fuck. Then, dude, I thought you could hear, like, someone running, like, on the, like, like on, like, the ground. And I thought that would be scary because you go from hearing that horrible sound to flick, oh, shit. And then, so you're like, fuck. I feel like something set up the suspense of, like, there's an inkling that something could be wrong. Like, for instance, you go up the stairs, you grab it. And then you just like look out towards the clothesline. Oh, we got the clothes drying. We got the clothes hanging. So that's thing you're like, fuck. Like you have to do this laundry later. So then, I don't know, then do we need another scene? Maybe just go right to the night scene then. Okay, so we are on quarantine right now in New York State. So basically it is next to impossible to find anything, but I'm gonna attempt to find a clothesline and some post-it notes and to uh, make this short, so let's get to it. Beautiful Saturday morning. Starbucks was the first order of business, so now that we have Starbucks, now I can go find this stuff, so now we can do it. All right, so I'm at the one place where I'm bound to get Corona. So let's, uh, let's go in. All right, looks like there's a clothesline. Just gotta find pulleys now. Looks like there's our pulleys. You lean back. You see me. And the laundry is like guiding like right to your head. I can almost. see from there though. I think the porch is in the way. I no no, but I, see, I'm thinking instead of going more this way, I'm thinking going straighter back, like into the back of your yeah. Yard but I think more. you can't see me and the and that at the same time. I don't know. I think we might be able to. No, because the porch is in the way. What about through the gate? I just picture it being a complete cutaway. Well, either way, but so point no, being, it looks at you. The gate's only this. It's only this tall. So that might be a little better. So I have to right? duck when I go. Oh. So the porch is up here, and then the. See how, like, the porch is raised and then, mm. like, the opening? We might be able to fake something, I think. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, so we see you and then vice versa. We get, like, an OTS, like, over the shoulder of you looking at the laundry line and, like, I imagine, like, a slow zoom, like, digital zoom, but, like, a slow, like, digital zoom on both. You're like, we're going to want to shoot the part of you pulling up at probably, like, 5.30. Like, that's, like, 5.30, 6 o'clock. That's when that sun 12, comes it's down. It's 12 noon right now. I'm wondering if we should go set up the clothesline and take some pictures, not like a storyboard, but like a... We can storyboard it on my camera. Max making a knot. Hey. So, because we want to be able to take this down, and because eventually it's going to get kind of loose. So what we did is we set up two pulleys. You can see here, this one's just wrapped around the tree, so we're not damaging the tree. And you have here, and because if you were to make a super... See how we kind of have it up high? Eventually when you put stuff on it, it's going to sag down. So you want to make sure you have a loop here and you have enough extra so that way you can go and tighten it and then once you get it to the tautness you want then you would just go and then you have essentially another knot that's not a real knot but that way it's like eventually it'll sag down and then you leave yourself enough extra you undo this knot you tighten this even more and then you go and then you tie your, your loop off again again this is not a real knot right here this is just for depot so that way you have two things. So that way when you're pulling, and then eventually when you step on the string, <laughs> it'll go. 
and then eventually it'll start going down so you just come along through here and then you can see you just pull this the whole thing drops down and then you just pull the one and yeah. the tighter shank. yeah i don't know how you did that so yeah. it's, it's cool just, it's like something you don't realize because it's like if you make one knot and you like cut yourself off so you don't have any extra um, you kind of limit yourself. Actually, uh, what's going to happen is if we keep running through this, we'll see this knot. So it's like, we'll just keep running it through, running it through, and then it'll run to the end. So we'll just have to cut, pull it back, pull it back, and then just like do it again. So eventually this knot will get to the end of its line. And we'll yeah. just have to keep faking it. Like just keep pulling it in, pulling it in, pulling it in. And then we'll run, put it back, put more notes on, okay. then pull it back. That way it just tricks the camera. But. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> unfortunately, we need to tighten this quite a lot. And I was trying to like put, I was like pulling on it to see the amount of tension we needed. And um, way. it made it super stretched out. Like it stretched out all the cable. And everything. Hey, we just do this? Yeah, we just have someone hold it. Yeah, the problem is once we put something on there later, it's gonna do the same thing, right? Yeah, but we'll only have to like fake it for a little bit. And what then if we, we just, what if we just tied this right here? Yeah, that, that'd be no problem. So what if I just hold this and you just tie this? Yeah, that's what I was saying. All right, we just do, do that. Because we can even loop it around the hook that we made that didn't work out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the only thing is we won't be able to pull it then. Yeah. Like I'm but, saying if we tie this, we can still pull it. Yeah. We'll just have to fake the loop. Okay. All right. Now we're going to get our mock porch light up. Yep, getting that going. We got our fire pit going for warmth. You can come over, keep your hands warm if you need. Getting the Aperture 120T set up. Mm. Um, this is gonna be tungsten, so this will be like our, it'll really work as a backlight, as our moonlight is gonna be like our key light. Um, we're kind of faking our, we're gonna turn that one actually off. Yeah, well, 120T. 120T, you mind pulling that? Where am I pulling? Oh, well, I'm not definitely not touching it now. <laughs> that hurt really bad, actually. <laughs> How do we grip that to the right, though? Because we did. What we loosen do? it. Loosen it. We look like fools. Okay. I'll go under. It I'm made gonna, it. I'm going to have to rotate it. Okay. I'll tighten it. And then. Oh. <laughs> Just don't put this part in. <laughs> yeah. Always grip to the right. I can't even that way in though. We don't need that that far out. I just need that at 90. Wow. Also, that was only at 80%. Dude, it's pretty fucking creepy when that thing starts to... Definitely gonna shoot it from this side, looking this way. <laughs> almost got it it is 10 44 and we are packing up right now it's nice and cold uh we didn't have a ton of footage of us doing it because uh it was pretty chilly it was just two of us so hey hey wrapping up hey, hey. it was ian he didn't help he wasn't here <laughs> <laughs> okay what's up guys so it is about eight o'clock the next morning and got some decent sleep um and basically i got my coffee and we are going to jump into some editing. I actually did a little bit of editing last night. Just kind of threw it like a rough together. Just kind of check the clips. Um, basically, we're going to do that. And we're also going to work on the music of the film. And then Zach's going to come over. We're going to do the foley and all the sound and all the mixing. And then hopefully have something that uh, is good. So, we'll see. <laughs> So it is 11.20 right now, and I just finished the first edit, and I sent it over to Zach. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so pretty quick, but it uh, looks pretty good. I really like it. 
Um, I think the color needs a little bit more work. I think the music made a little bit of shifting. There's a couple sound effects here and there that I want to play with. Maybe even some of the timing, I'm not sure yet, but I definitely want to work on the color, so I'm gonna do that. So let's check it out. Is that like hard cut? Is it a clip end? Is there any more sound before it? Oh, it's the same clip. I just cut it and changed the level. Do you need something that fades between? There we go. Go back. I didn't hear how I was talking. Oh, well, I should want. oh hell yeah. So listen to this, ready? Watch this. That doesn't sound like an echo. It sounds like an echo in a room. Guess who? Guess who? Guess who? Guess who? Guess who? Okay, there you go. You want to be able to hear them separate, so make this one kind of echo. I can like stagger them like a. Yeah. There's the riser for. That was a little more of a dull version. I think it's better. That one was like, like way too. I think it should be like just a constant. Like I think it's almost like. Like. You want something constant, like if you don't think it's about to swell, all of a sudden it's just drastic, like, like, <laughs> oh yeah, God. like. I can't see you. Brittany, is that you? All right, who the fuck is this? Not funny. 